You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Four Gates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. Can I take some questions? Mm. <clears throat> Howdy. Um, tough day. We did not, uh, did not have our best day. Um, Hats off to the Terps. They played really well. They were uh, much improved from a week ago, and I thought we kind of went the other direction a little bit. Um, you know, we came out hot, played well in the first quarter for the first you know few minutes. Uh, seemed like we lost a little bit of that fire, and, and I think just uh, maybe a little more hopeful that we were going to get it back than uh, than assertive to take it. So, um, learning lesson for us. That there's some good things that we did out there, but uh, clearly not enough of them against a very good team. So, we are. Uh, Awaiting our fate on uh, on Sunday night. Excited for the opportunity to compete again and uh, and earn ourselves more time together. Yeah, Coach, one for four in the man up. What can you say about that? How can you improve? Uh, we need a little, a little more urgency moving the ball. I think we we tend to, to you know take our time getting into it, and it doesn't really seem to fit us very well. Um, not that we need to get earlier shots or or um, you know. I don't know. Be riskier. We just need to at least need to move the ball a little bit quicker and, uh, and and find better opportunities. Even that last one, we had maybe 17 seconds left and 50 seconds on the shot clock afterwards. And you know, we just there's no need to to force it with you know one second on the penalty if we still got 50 seconds left to play offense. And I think that's you know there's some discipline that comes with that. Um, you know, we can prepare them a little bit better for how to handle those situations, but it's just a costly turnover at that time. For you guys defensively, some of the guys came in, some of the top end moves really well, and really well, and just kind of initiated stuff like that. And how, how do you kind of size up how they were able to generate there? They interchange first and second midfield lines pretty well. Sometimes they play their second midfield line more than the first. I don't know if I really can even differentiate if, 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 if there is a first or a second. Um, they got a lot of good players, and they do a good job of playing well together. Um, it's always an impressive bunch. Coach uh, Tillman does a, a, a very good job of, uh, of coaching a quality team across. And, and Usually, what you're going to run up against, you can't make mistakes. Coach, in your eyes, what do you feel like the Maryland defense did against your offense after that first quarter? Because you guys really struggled in the second. You know, I don't, I don't want to take anything away from them. I thought they did a great job. I, I just thought we walked, we lacked a little bit of the urgency that we came out with. I thought we, you know, we were attacking the middle of the field, we were drawing slides, and uh, and we were getting deeper into clocks. And I thought, you know, later on, it, you know, we started to get a little, little bit impatient. Uh, we get a little casual on the perimeter. Um, you know, if if, uh, if if you're not playing hard enough to uh, um, you know to, to to free yourself to to make a good pass, and sometimes you if you make an average pass and against a good guy that's approaching well and uh, disrupts the you know the other end of it, you know it ends up on the ground. They played really well there. Yeah, coach, uh, you got off to an unbelievable start. You're up three zip, and then all of a sudden you got hit with like three or four turnovers. Mm -hmm. Was that something you know that you think that's what turned it that early? You know, I don't know if that felt a whole lot different than anything that we've done the last you know handful of games. I think we've you know we've had some ups and downs, we've had some lulls, we've had some hot starts. Um, I think really the the response to that is what uh, hurt us more than anything. I, I think we never really got that urgency back, and maybe that came from a week off. I don't know. Um, you know, it's the first time we've done that all season. We've had probably more success jamming multiple games into a week than we have playing zero games in a week. So it was a new experience for us. We've got to use it as a learning opportunity. Um, but I don't think it, it changes any of our belief in what we what we were able to do together. Coach, Ajax and John Kepper were both out today. Did that change your mindset strategically on offense? No, Kepper played a little bit, not that much. But uh, no, I mean, they, they're they're – Pretty deep there. Obviously, those guys are very good, but uh, you know, for the most part, we uh, we run what we run, and we try and you know take advantage of the opportunities that we have. And um, you know, if we're not if we're not uh, initiating the right way, if we're not you know moving the ball and taking care of it, if we're not uh, you know controlling tempo and and, uh, and spacing the field well. Um, you know, I don't know if the the personnel is as significant. Maybe it seems from the outside. You mentioned you know getting ready for the postseason and whatnot. How do you feel about your bunch? Uh, Coach, you mentioned how this Maryland team was much improved from a week and a half ago. What was the biggest difference? I mean, I, I think I don't want to say much improved. They did a great job. You know, they, they you know I don't want to say that they didn't do a great job a couple weeks ago. They were uh, they were better this week, and uh, I think 
they they probably did a few of the things uh, the last time we played them that we didn't have. You know, they had a few turnovers, um, you know, state in transition, a couple substitution errors, um, and just not as sharp shooting the ball. And I thought today they were much more patient. They were much more disciplined in their in their uh, their movement and their in their spacing on offense. Um, they dodged for the purpose and, and didn't take that first shot. They probably scored three goals with less than ten seconds on a shot clock. Those were killers. So the, the, I thought they did a really good job. On those goals, it seemed like they were really getting like to the backside on taking those possessions. Is that true? Uh, we talked about it mid-game. Um, you know, when they push down the side and uh, and swing through X, they do a good job of holding over the top. And and you know, we're trying to anchor with cutters, but we're getting we're getting lost and uh, and and you know, not bumping through. And it was it was just a, a mistake and things that we know we could do better. But it's. Like everything else we preach on our defensive end of the field, it's solved by ball pressure and and, uh, and extending out to, to make sure that we're challenging everybody everywhere we can. And I think we were a little soft at that. And I thought we left open guys um, up top more than anything. Coach, Russell Melendez scored two goals in the first five minutes of the game. Frank Carter did for most of it. What did you say about, what would you say about his performance? And did you make tweaks throughout the game to try and get him the ball more? Uh, I mean, we're always trying to get him the ball. I, I think he's a very, uh, uh, you know, capable young man. I mean, he does a great job leading our offense. Um, I thought, you know, he had some opportunities early and he, and he capitalized on those. And I thought, um, you know, number one, did an excellent job uh, making some adjustments and, and uh, you know, find ways to close those those openings. But I think just the nature of our offense, guys get switched on matchups all the time. So I don't even know if he was, you know, if it was so much, uh, number one is, is, you know, in general, I thought they, they did a good job, you know, timing their slides, getting to hands, um, and, and pushing us away from the middle of the field. We needed to be a little bit more assertive getting to the middle of the field because we're not drawing slides against a good team if we don't. Coach, how do you avoid any sense of being deflated, not being able to play in the penalty game when you're on the turf and kind of turning the page to rookies here? Uh, good question. I mean, I, I don't, I don't think, um, I think there's an opportunity to uh, use this as, as motivation and, and uh, uh, you, know, you know, let it sting a little bit. You know, I don't want to say I, I want the guys to come here and watch the game or anything like that, but it's definitely going to hurt, you know, watching our, uh, our conference rivals play a championship game on our home field. Um, I think the most uh, significant takeaway is that the next opportunity we have together, we have to earn. Uh, a chance to stay together, and uh, maybe that wasn't the case today, and, and that crept in a little bit. I don't know, but I think so far this year, I've been really impressed with what the guys would do um, when they were in tough situations. You know, at the end of games and in, in you know tough turnarounds, and uh, I think that that's become part of our identity. And I think it was a little lacking today. And it's the first scenario that we haven't had that type of situation. Maybe a week off and. Um, Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.